thank you, Jay, and thank you for uh, being here today. Uh, as you know, earlier this afternoon, we announced that the three games against the Philadelphia Phillies, scheduled to be the Rogers Center on the 25th, 26th, and 27th of June, have been moved to Philadelphia. Uh, rest assured, this was not an easy decision to make, uh, not a decision that uh, we wanted to make, but at the very end of the day, uh, we believed it was in the best interest of our fans and of putting the games on. Uh, this has been under consideration for, uh, since the um, uh, uh, G20 was announced, uh, we have worked closely with the, uh, um, the people that run the G20, uh, and they've been uh, most accommodating to us and giving us the information that they can provide to us. Uh, we've worked closely with uh, the Commissioner's Office, and we have worked particularly closely with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, we're fortunate having a good relationship with the Phillies, and at the very end, uh, they've accommodated us by allowing us to play the three games down there. Uh, games will be played under American League rules. Uh, there will be a DH. We will be the home team. Uh, from that point of view, I don't think there's any other thing, any other change that will happen. Uh, we regret we had to make this decision, uh, but given what's happening in those three days and uh, the focus that will be on the downtown core of Toronto and the fact that we are situated right next door to them and where the G20 is going to take place, we felt it was in the best interest of everybody to move the game. It's particularly disappointing for very obvious reasons with Roy Halladay coming back. Uh, Roy had been with the organization for as long as he'd been here. It was our opportunity for the fans and for ourselves to give him an appreciation uh, for what he had done and what he had meant to this team. Uh, we're hopeful that uh, at some point in the future uh, we'll be able to do that and we will be requesting of Major League Baseball that the Phillies be scheduled in early play next year to be playing in Toronto. Uh, we're hopeful that um, the next time that uh, they schedule a G20 they will look at the schedule to see whether Roy is coming back or not. Uh, but uh, having said that, um, I just want uh, I just want to be to be said that this was not a, a decision that was made quickly, uh, and there was a lot of considerations. And it seems to us it is the best of all of the alternatives that are available to us at the present time. Uh, that's uh, that's the status. Uh, we do uh, want to thank the Phillies, uh, and we do want to thank Major League Baseball. Uh, we do want to thank. Also, the, um, uh, the the G20 organizers, because uh, uh, they were uh, in some ways um, caught with a, uh, with kind of a, a, a tough situation where we would have been um, trying to get as many fans down here as we possibly could at a time when they are trying to uh, make sure that the G20 runs as smoothly as they can. I'm sure that it will, and we great, bring great focus to our uh, uh, to our city, uh, to our province, and to our country. And so um, that's the statement. That's uh, that's what we're going to do. And I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody may have. First question. Hi, sir. George Lockett from CP24. First thing, just want to clear up. This wasn't G20 that asked you to do this. This was never a request from them. This was, this came from your end. No, this came. This came from. This is our decision. This is not the G20 um, uh, um, request. Uh, what we did um, with the G20, we consulted with them. Um, to the best that they could share information with us, which obviously for um, security purposes, you can't share everything. Uh, we were pretty well informed of what was happening um, from, a point, from a point of roads closing, uh, streets closing, availability of parking, fencing going up, and that thing. So we had a lot of information, but not all of it. But they did not request us to do it, but I, I can't think at the very end of the day that they will be that upset that we're not here. And just quick follow up. Is there any, at any point did you assess this and think, you know what, the, in terms of risk and benefit here, the cachet that this may have brought to the city as a kind of a baseball version of a summit series might be a little gritty, a little risky, but maybe kind of cool. Could have, could have been very good. I mean, you know, if, if, if everything worked the way that we wanted it to work and we could guarantee that all the fans could get in and they could get in with a great ease and we could fill the place with 30,000 or 35,000 or 40,000 people, I think that we'd have the perfect scenario. Uh, we think it's going to be difficult because parking is going to be limited. Uh, access is going to be limited to the west side. Uh, there will be a little bit of, uh, of, a, of a discomfort for fans getting into the way they normally get in. And so at the very end of the day, uh, we thought that it would be better off just to move the games and take them, take them away from here. But having said that, you know, if the place was filled and you had the G20 going on next door, you're 100% right. Uh, we don't think that that probably would happen, given, what, what, given what's going to be happening uh, in, in, in the city at that time. Paul, how many tickets have been sold for the three game series? Well, I don't know exactly the number of tickets have been sold, but I can tell you what we expected. Um, we expected a crowd of uh, crowds of ninety thousand for the three games. I mean, that's what we budgeted for. We did, we're, we're on pace for that, given what we had for last year. Um, we had three games against the Phillies last year. Um, would it be more than that with Doc here? Probably if he was pitching. Um, you know, but you don't know whether he's even going to be pitching. 
Uh, what we do know is, uh, and have every reason to expect that it would have been in the building that we could have done what we wanted to do. Uh, but we were anticipating the same type of crowds as we had last year, and uh, maybe have talked pitching even a few more. Has there been any talk of any financial restitution for the games missed and what you might get from the Phillies? We have an arrangement with them, but I think at, uh, at the end of the day, we're hopeful to be revenue neutral. I mean, uh, we don't want to lose money on it, but at the same time, if we're playing these games and we're having, having uh, that type of crowd, uh, it will end up being a revenue neutral situation. Uh, this was clearly not done for financial reasons. This was done more as an accommodation to everybody that's involved in A, the G20, and B, to our fans. Who would have a difficult time getting here? I don't think there's any question as you look at what is, what, where, the, where the perimeter of the security is going to be, um, what's going to go on uh, downtown with movement of, uh, of the various uh, dignitaries. I mean, this, this, is a, this is a big opportunity for, for this country to have the G20 here. Unfortunately, it just coincides with the worst weekend uh, that we could have with, uh, with the Phillies here. Paul, just to follow up on that, so just to confirm that you guys are, are you on your normal gate receiving as far as uh, being the home team, or is this a different arrangement? No, we have a different, arra we have a different arrangement, but I mean, the, the goal was that we would end up to be revenue neutral. And it, it, this wasn't a negotiation. The, the, um, the Phillies are terrific people to deal with, and um, you know, we were fortunate that we were playing the Phillies at this time, so that when we sit down with Dave Montgomery or talk to Dave Montgomery, and I've had a number of conversations with him, starting back when it was first, uh, first announced, um, telling him that uh, uh, he's going to like uh, his team staying in, uh, in Welland. I mean, I, he put us in Conchahaga when we were there in the World Series. Um, so uh, we would, uh, he would have a problem with, uh, with the hotels and, and that type of thing. So we let him know then. But then as it became a little bit more definitive as to what was happening, uh, we, kept it, we kept him uh, informed as, what was as to what was happening. He's got costs of putting on the games. Um, and so, you know, we worked out an arrangement that hopefully will make us both uh, revenue neutral. And just second to that, was there ever any consideration of having these games on a neutral site somewhere closer where, you know, it might benefit you to have maybe fans come down, or was that ever even considered? No, it really wasn't. It really wasn't considered. Um, you know, I guess that's, that was an option, uh, you know, whether we go to Cleveland, whether we go to Detroit, whether or not, you know, you go up to Ottawa, you play in, a, in, in, in one of those places. But I think at the, very, at the very conclusion of all of our deliberations, the easiest was, was just to go to Philadelphia. I mean, they were there. The, it's there. It's it's obviously their home home uh, stadium. But on the other hand, we are going to be playing American League rules. Uh, we're going to be uh, batting last, so uh, we just decided that it was better to do it there as opposed to uh, having both teams kind of be neutral. Still, it is still a distance recognizing that. But the two other alternatives, I guess, would have been Cleveland or Detroit, um, and uh, you know, we've both been uh, visitors there. Paul, uh, just a couple things um, with the um, you talk about revenue neutral. Do you qualify for the the federal government compensation abstention program? And well, I suppose we qualify for it, but I mean, we're hopeful that this will make it so we wouldn't have to, have to do anything for it. But if I mean, that, that's if after the fact. That's after the fact when you, when you do qualify and you, see where, and you see where you are. And the other thing was, uh, now that uh, you won't be here, will the Rogers Center be available for the G20 Summit? It's available for them. I, mean, I think it would be wrong for us to actually move out of here and then try to book something in here. So uh, the answer to that is yes. I mean, if uh, any one of the, uh, if the integrated police force wanted to use it or anybody that wanted to use it that would be accommodated, that would make the G20 better, the answer to that would be yes. We would certainly work with them. Uh, Roger Peterson from City News. What about uh, Phillies fans coming up? Were there a lot coming up? Or, well, I don't know that. I'm sure, Roger, we're going to hear about that if that is in fact, and they've booked hotels and they've booked flights. I mean, I don't know what the answer is. Obviously, um, uh, they will be, uh, they'll be in a position where they uh, uh, will get a hold of us. I'm sure we will hear from those. And, and we recognize that there are going to be people that are, that, that are, going, to, that are going to actually uh, um, uh, have, have be, be it some be it some problem, some risk, maybe financial reason. We try to we try to address that. Try to address whether seasons ticket holders and anybody who bought a ticket for the game by offering cash refunds. I mean, what you paid, you will get your money back. In addition to that, we will give you a ticket for any game that uh, we're playing we're playing this year. Uh, we're trying to be respective of, uh, of of the support that we have and and of, and of our fans. And and not everyone's going to be happy because some people will obviously think that they would go that extra route to, to actually come and, come and see the games. And so that makes it difficult for us. That makes the decision difficult. Um, and for the Philly fans, you know, we will take that under consideration too because uh, uh, we appreciate their support when they come from out of town when, when teams do travel and when fans do travel with their teams.